I was taught to never let my past judge my future. I pray to God that if I'm able to have children, I will show them real love and never put my hands on them in a harmful way, discipline or non-discipline. Despite having no childhood, I've learned that happiness is a feeling that can be found anywhere, permanent or temporary, inside and out. And pain is felt anywhere, can be found anywhere. One of the greatest people that I know, um, she is the reason that uh, the defendant sits before you today after the incredibly severe beating that was administered to her on the morning of this incident, she decided that she had enough and that she was going to finally take a stand on behalf of not only herself, but her two younger siblings, um, as well as for the future of her youngest sibling, Michael May Jr. or Michael May III. So that young lady who couldn't even sit down that morning, I know the court has seen a photograph of that. Um, the court is aware of the injuries that were inflicted upon her who didn't do that. Um, he would pretend to do it. Um, uh, in, in defiance of the defendant, he would hit a book instead and, and people would cry out. When I listened to this uh, case, when I read through this case, it just, it just it's staggering in its brutality. There were so many times when, when the professionals, law enforcement professionals that came here today, they would literally just have to take a break and step back because um, of the emotions that were overwhelming them. And finally, it all comes back to this issue of taking responsibility because as brave as these children were in telling their story about what happened, the court's going to sentence Miss May for her part in this. She took responsibility in the three, uh, in the children who were able to talk. They gave their statements. They all explained what had happened. I'm convinced beyond any shadow of a doubt uh, what role people played. And then I read the defendant's pre-sentence report. And I